Welcome everyone to join 2020 Tourism and Hotel Management Vocational Training Program for Latin American and Caribbean countries. It's a pity for us that we can't see you in Taiwan this year. However, we still arrange a series of online learning videos for you, which includes hotel and guest house management courses, tourism with marketing and event management courses, housekeeping management courses, baking and pastry courses, light meal courses, and also micro enterprise management cour courses. We hope you all enjoy and gain something from it. We are also looking forward to meeting you in Taiwan in the near future, so we can exchange the knowledge and experience the beauty of Taiwan together. Now, let's see the introduction of our organizers, the International Cooperation Development Fund and Hong Kong University. El desarrollo y la prosperidad económica y social de Taiwán pueden atribuirse a la política gubernamental y la diligencia de su pueblo. La gran asistencia ofrecida por la comunidad internacional hace varias décadas dio el impulso necesario para el despegue económico. Para retribuir a la comunidad internacional, Taiwán contribuyó activamente a los programas internacionales de ayuda para el desarrollo cuando todavía era un país en vías de desarrollo. Como miembro de la comunidad global, Taiwán asume voluntariamente sus responsabilidades sociales y comparte su experiencia con el mundo. En 1959, Taiwán comenzó a ofrecer ayuda externa asistiendo a la República de Vietnam. Con el tiempo y acorde a las necesidades de cada fase, Taiwán asistió a los países socios a desarrollar y construir su infraestructura a través del equipo ejecutivo de Operación Vanguardia el Comité de Cooperación Técnica Internacional, el Fondo para el Desarrollo de la Cooperación Económica Internacional y otras agencias de ayuda. Esto fijó una fuerte base para los subsecuentes esfuerzos de asistencia de Taiwán. El Fondo de Cooperación y Desarrollo Internacional fue establecido en 1996 para integrar de manera efectiva los recursos de ayuda externa de Taiwán para que los esfuerzos de ayuda externa sean más sistemáticos y profesionales. Taiwán ICDF continúa consolidando sus capacidades organizacionales para hacer frente a las cambiantes tendencias internacionales. Nuestro trabajo adopta un enfoque orientado a proyectos en nuestro trabajo y usa efectivamente los recursos para maximizar el alcance y los beneficios de los proyectos. En 2016, los Objetivos de Desarrollo Sostenible de la ONU fijaron una agenda común para los trabajos de cooperación y desarrollo internacional. Taiwán ICDF toma en consideración los ODS en su planificación estratégica, diseñando proyectos acorde con las ventajas comparativas de Taiwán en la agricultura, salud pública y medicina, educación, TIC y medio ambiente. Al asignar efectivamente recursos a esas áreas prioritarias y expandir la sinergia de la implementación del proyecto Taiwán ICDF continuará compartiendo la experiencia del desarrollo de Taiwán con los países socios y la comunidad internacional. Aprovechando las ventajas de Taiwán en la agricultura, Taiwán ICDF ayuda a los países socios a impulsar su producción de cultivos, mejorar la nutrición y diseñar políticas agrícolas más eficientes. Asistimos a las organizaciones de agricultores ofreciendo préstamos y capacitación a los agricultores para su empoderamiento. Introducimos tecnologías en el campo para mejorar los cultivos y la prevención y cuarentena de enfermedades. También procuramos ayudar a los países socios a mitigar los efectos del cambio climático, aumentar la producción agrícola, mejorar la vida de los campesinos y fortalecer las cadenas de valor agrícola. La comunidad internacional se enfoca en el mejoramiento del bienestar para todos en todas las edades. Taiwán ICDF combina la vasta experiencia de Taiwán en salud pública y medicina a medida que trabaja con los países socios a través de proyectos que se enfocan en la atención materna e infantil, prevención de enfermedades crónicas y sistemas de información en salud. 
En la planificación e implementación de proyectos, Taiwán ICDF integra recursos de las instituciones de atención sanitaria, públicas y privada, y envía voluntarios a la vez que ofrece capacitación para personal sanitario. Con este enfoque, ayudamos a nuestros países socios a mejorar su sistema de salud para avanzar hacia el desarrollo sostenible y una ciudadanía más sana. El capital humano es la columna vertebral de toda economía y sirve de base para la competitividad nacional. Los programas de educación y capacitación de Taiwán y CDF ayudan a los países socios a fortalecer su capacidad. Utilizamos los recursos de la educación superior de Taiwán para ofrecer becas para la educación superior de estudiantes prometedores de países socios de Taiwán. También planificamos talleres dirigidos a especialistas y funcionarios gubernamentales. Más aún, a través del uso de instrumentos financieros y consultoría, Taiwán ICDF facilita préstamos y ofrece asistencia técnica para impulsar la educación vocacional y los sistemas de formación de los países socios. Taiwán posee una vasta experiencia en tecnologías de información y comunicación, TIC, y en e-gobierno o gobierno electrónico. Como las TIC pueden acelerar la reducción de la pobreza y mejorar la gobernanza en países en desarrollo, Taiwán y CDF asiste a los aliados en el desarrollo de sistemas de gobierno digital y la creación de centros de TIC. En estos centros, los funcionarios y el personal pueden aprender cómo usar la tecnología para una gobernanza más efectiva y mejorar sus capacidades TIC. Al mismo tiempo, al fortalecer la seguridad en Internet de los países socios y apoyarles a lograr los estándares internacionales, Taiwán y CDF ayuda a los países socios a lograr una transición clave y avanzar hacia el desarrollo sostenible. Como miembro responsable de la aldea global, Taiwán comparte sus experiencias en sostenibilidad medioambiental. Para ayudar a los países socios a responder efectivamente al cambio climático, Taiwán y CDF hace uso de los avanzados sistemas de monitoreo del medio ambiente de Taiwán con el fin de mejorar los mecanismos de respuesta y manejo de desastre en nuestros países socios. Taiwán y CDF también invierte activamente en la energía sostenible, implementando proyectos pilotos y ofreciendo préstamos a países socios para desarrollar la infraestructura de la energía verde, así como realizando talleres para compartir las experiencias de Taiwán en el desarrollo sostenible y tecnologías relacionadas con el objetivo de desarrollar las capacidades de los países socios. A medida que la comunidad mundial crece cada vez más unida, Taiwán y CDF sigue trabajando con socios globales como el Banco Europeo de Reconstrucción y Desarrollo, el Banco Interamericano de Desarrollo, el Banco Centroamericano de Integración Económica y el Organismo Internacional Regional de Sanidad Agropecuaria. Más aún, hemos reforzado nuestra alianza con organizaciones no gubernamentales internacionales tales como Mercy Corps, CARE, World Vision y Acción contra el Hambre. A través de nuestros proyectos de asistencia humanitaria juntos podemos construir un mejor mañana en todo el mundo. Actualmente, el desarrollo sostenible es una meta común de todos los países. Alrededor del mundo, Taiwán y CDF trabaja con los países socios, paso a paso, para contribuir al desarrollo sostenible de la comunidad internacional. University, initially established as Hong Kong Junior College of Nursing, 
was founded in 1967 by Dr. Yulin Wang, the head of Guangtian General Hospital. Built on a foundation of health care, the university was given the mission, begin from oneself and extend benevolence towards all upon its establishment. In response to educational reforms in Taiwan and abroad and the advent of the era of information, science and technology, the school was renamed Hongkong University in 2003, aiming to be a model of university of science and technology, specializing in health and human ecology. At present, there are five colleges, 22 departments, and 10 research institutes. The school is famous for the only PhD program in nursing among private polytech universities in Taiwan. In terms of the promotion of higher education Sprout Project, Hong Guang received the highest subsidy from the Ministry of Education among private universities of science and technology in northern and central Taiwan, and has won recognition from various fields with outstanding performance. The first foodborne virus detection laboratory accredited by the Ministry of Health and Welfare in Industry and Academia nationwide was established in our school's Food Safety and Inspection Total Amount of Ultrafine Center. In addition, the only TAF accredited sunscreen lotion test laboratory in Taiwan was established in our school's Cosmetic Innovation Research Center to ensure the health and safety of people in Taiwan. Cross-domain practical application of artificial intelligence combines medical care with AI technologies to enhance students' cross-domain workplace competitiveness. Since international competitiveness of students is increasingly important, our school connects with the world through overseas internship, training, dual degree system, and diversified international exchanges. The school also encourages students to participate in overseas competitions to enhance global mobility, as well as aggressively recruit students from various countries around the world, hold international summer camps, and create an international campus environment. With our commitment to holistic education and lifelong learning, Hong Guang pays as much attention to general education as to developing professional skills. In view of this, the College of General Education has established both Humanity Education and Development Center and Service Learning Center with the goal of helping students develop a moral and civic character as a corollary to their specialized learning in line with our mission, caring for humanity, cherishing life. College of Nursing consists of the Departments of Nursing and Post-Baccalaureate Nursing and a five-year junior college program. The College of Nursing is the cradle of nursing talents in Taiwan. The College of Nursing offers a complete academic system, including a Hong Kong used core technologies such as technological aids, biomedical research, natural assistive medicine, micronutrient, long-term care management, senior social work, and animal health. 
as well as knowledge of health management and information management to develop the characteristics of the college. The core of development is medical health, and the college develops courses meeting the current needs, promotes medical health research of width and depth, and cultivates all-round professional talents in medical health application. The College of Human Science and Social Innovation consists of the departments of Food Science and Technology, Applied Cosmetology, Child Care and Education, Hairstyling and Design, Culinary Art and Hotel Management, International Communication English, Cultural and Creative Industries, and Sports and Leisure. The College of Human Science and Social Innovation aims to improve the quality of living and life care for people and cultivate talents with aesthetic quality, teamwork, passion for service, optimism, knowledge economy, and international outlook. In addition to providing an excellent teaching, research, and learning environment, these departments have professional learning institutions and more than 30 national skill test sites to conform to the policy of integration of learning, training, testing, and application. Moreover, to meet industrial needs, the college established standardized service, human science knowledge, and relevant academia industry collaboration R&D centers to aggressively implement academia industry collaboration and hold international activities. The college aims to become a well-known college in the human science and social innovation field, leading industries to create new opportunities. The College of Intelligent Technology consists of the Departments of Safety, Health and Environmental Engineering, Computer Science and Information Engineering, Biomedical Engineering, Institute of Environmental Engineering, Institute of Occupational Safety and Hazard Prevention, and Institute of Intelligent Assistive Technology. All the departments have passed the IEET International Accreditation. Diplomas are accepted across the world and can be used to apply for international professional certificates. Each program focuses on developing practical skills and collaborates with companies to establish smart automation internship factories through interdisciplinary learning, practical curriculum, full-time internships and special topics. The college applies information technologies to the integration of mechanics and electronics, artificial intelligence, medicine and supporting tools, environmental protection, solar photovoltaic installation, disaster prevention, and green technology. Students graduate with the ability to integrate many forms of knowledge. The solid project training and internship programs at home and overseas have made our graduates become highly respected professionals in the tech industry. For years, Hong Guang has devoted to giving students a sense of service and altruism. The professional volunteer services offered by various departments and graduate institutes have reached remote areas and communities in Taiwan. Hong Guang even further promotes international volunteer services to fulfill its social responsibility as a university. On top of training excellent students, many associated and affiliated institutions of the school play an indispensable role in social service. For instance, the affiliated hospital of Hongguang University is the first hospital which provides exclusive care for the elderly. Hongguang University Affiliated Preschool is combined with the Department of Child Care and Education, which is widely recognized and acknowledged. Moreover, the Professional Advancement Center of Hongguang University has won high praise for its long-term course offerings and project implementation authorized by various ministries and central and local governments. 我在紅光看見熱情。
看见未来。梦想的启程，就从红光开始。In order to let you possess professional skills and improve your employment and entrepreneurial abilities, the curriculum is provided with basic and advanced practical learning courses. We also invite professors in the related area to give you an integrated learning concept. Let's check out the course instructors. The program moderator are Chair Professor Ji Ye Rong and Director of Professional Advancement Center Jiang Fang Ru. Professor You Ming Feng for Hotel and Guest House Management courses. Professor Zhang Yun Xi for Tourism with Marketing and Event Management courses. Professor Ye Jia Shan for Housekeeping Management practices. Professor Yang Zhiwei for baking and pastry courses. Professor Wu Yingchen for light meal courses. Professor Zhang Jingxing for micro enterprise management courses. Professor Chao Yuan Zhang for micro enterprise management courses. We are waiting for you to have fun with us. See you. At sunrise, the sea laps softly against the shore, as she has over the past million years, awakening the land. Situated in the heart of the island, Taizhou is protected by the Shuishan Range, which shields it from Pacific Ocean storms in summer, and from northeastern monsoons in the winter. As a result. Taizhou enjoys a delightfully mild climate all year round. The Dajiao River, born from a rich source in the mountains, continues flowing all the way down, year in and year out. For thousands of years, she has nurtured this fertile land like a loving mother. Ultimately, she leads people to an encounter with the vast ocean. And empowers them with greater insights to face a rapidly changing world. In doing so, she shapes a style, an attitude, and a vision unique to Taizhou. In this flourishing city, people are diligent, gentle, and firm. But modest, they're nostalgic yet innovative. Some describe them as ducks gliding on the water, relaxed, humble, and peaceful. But beneath the surface, they never stop paddling. Before anyone has noticed, they ventured far ahead. While an outward migration away from urban centers remains a common trend, Taizhou is among the few cities in Taiwan blessed with a growing population. This has also helped it to become Taiwan's second-largest city. Taizhou is the heart of Taiwan. Situated in the middle of the island, it has an airport as well as a harbor. Visitors and goods travel through these ports, connected to two highways: the Taiwan High-Speed Rail and Taiwan Railway. From the north to south, Taizhou offers conveniences superior to other cities. A new era of the Taizhou metro system has begun, and with two metro lines, Taizhou's transportation network will be even more complete.
a metropolis that preserves idyllic landscapes remains dynamic and hospitable. Based on such ideals, the city's rebirth began with the restoration of the Lüchen and Liuchen canals. Using environmentally friendly methods, these canals have been brought back to life, not only becoming new landmarks, but also reviving the old downtown area. The best proof of Taichung people's mix of nostalgia and innovation is none other than the beauty of the city's architecture. Built in 1858, the Yufenglin family mansion and garden is a combination of European and Taiwanese styles and a paragon of Taiwanese Hokkien official residences. The Loose Chapel at Donghai University, a symbol of modern architecture, is also a perfect convergence of East and West. Asia University Museum of Modern Art is a poetic and daring showcase for aesthetics. National Taichung Theatre sets a new standard for architecture in the 21st century and has been praised as one of the nine architectural wonders of the world. Buildings demonstrating unique aesthetics and personalities have been built by internationally renowned architects, giving the city a rich and diverse appearance. The mild climate and fertile land have also helped make Taichung known as the Kingdom of Flowers. The 2018 Taichung World Flora Exposition shows the world the beauty of the city and the outstanding creations of diligent flower growers. Religious beliefs are a people's important spiritual assets. The Taichung Matsu deity is a power that unites Taiwan. The rich culture Taichung enjoys is the envy of many. Asia's most striking fine arts museum and most breathtaking botanical garden plus a must-see National Library of Public Information are all found in this city. Taichung Software Park has become the most impressive cultural and creative industry landmark. Taichung has made Taiwan a kingdom of bicycles. As such, it has the longest and most beautiful bike paths in the country. The best way to experience the relaxing atmosphere and the beauty of this city is to take a slow ride across the Dajiao River over a grand steel bridge. Taichung is regarded the capital for smart machinery, the annual output of more than 1,000 small and medium-sized businesses in this industry has reached 100 billion Taiwan dollars, making this city a paradise for entrepreneurs. Living in Taichung, one enjoys both the conveniences that a city offers, as well as beautiful natural scenery. At sunset, Gaomei Wetlands is drenched in an orange glow. Its wooden 700-meter pathway forms a beautiful curve, while the 700-hectare wetlands nurture a diverse ecosystem. This is where the river meets the sea, a paradise for migratory birds and a playground for the winds. As darkness descends and the lights come on, the city reappears before your eyes in an entirely different way. Crowds flock into the National Taichung Theatre, awaiting a great performance. Floodlights at Taichung Intercontinental Baseball Stadium turn night into day as an exciting game takes place. Taichung at night is permeated with youthful air. The city's nightlife is equally colorful. a boundless land under bright blue skies. Surrounded by the mountains and the sea, this city is the home to 2.8 million people spanning the generations. The beauty of Taichung lies in its harmony between the old and the new. Taichung's advantages include her vitality and diversity. In this land dwells a mysterious and powerful attraction mixed with abundant opportunities. This leads those that arrive to settle down here. Following the sun, we can sense the elegance, tolerance, and relaxing atmosphere that are unique to this city. Taichung people are humble and peaceful. They march towards their goals, striving energetically and always moving forward.
台中是一个生活步调自在的城市，用不同的节奏感受，走一趟属于你独特风格的旅行。台中的日常，有都市里的巷弄惊喜，街道上的人情味，每个角落都让人轻松，每个时分都能创造专属快乐。台中的风情带有深厚的文化底蕴，不论是生活在城市里的居民，或是短暂停留的旅人，都能体会台中迷人的氛围。世界三大的宗教盛世，大甲妈祖九天八夜的绕境，值得你一生一次的体验。台中自然资源丰富，山海连成一线，悠游台中，尽享大自然的完美与纯粹。试着来一趟新奇的台中登高行程，走进台中的后花园，大坑登山步道。享受森林里的芬多精，十二条登山路线，全台唯一相思木步道。不论你是新手还是高手，都能满足你一赏努力登高后的美景。台中的海味有一种特殊的风情。你可以在沙滩上尽情热舞，跟着音乐和艺术一起摇摆。完美的栈道曲线，海天一色的天空之境，台湾最美的夕阳在高美湿地。开车太快，步行太慢，骑自行车刚刚好。台中的轻快，选择来场自行车旅行，深入每一处美景。大安滨海自行车道，享受迎面而来的海风和美景。后丰铁马道，循着历史高桥的轨迹，寻访刻满岁月痕迹的隧道。全台首座封闭型车道，东风自行车绿廊，绿树成荫连绵。沿途充满悠闲的诗意。台中是全台美食的发源地，各种意想不到的创意真奶等你来发现。台中爵士音乐节 （JCU O） 没有界限，一起摇摆，相聚台中，沉浸其中，品味美食。台中每年都有很多精彩的节庆盛事，台中国际舞蹈嘉年华，城市街道变成一个巨型舞台，跳出撼动人心的嘉年华会，让全城都舞动起来。新社花海，壮阔缤纷的花海美景，充满疗愈又浪漫的氛围。台中国际花毯节，与众不同的视觉体验，精致草花装点艺术的梦幻场景。二零二零台湾灯会在台中，璀璨灯会，崭新坐标，与您携手体验台中的千姿百态，辉煌秀丽。让我们一起完美台中。